it's always easy. <laughs> um, um, when you find the right ones, you strike absolute gold, as you did with these guys. But tell us more about how you, you went about working with them. Um, I know that, that you had a, a long period of research to find them, particularly um, Severoyu, and um, I think I pronounced his name almost yeah, right. Yeah, you did. Yeah, um, yeah, and, and Giovanna. Yeah, that, she's easier. Um, but but tell tell us how you went about working with them, because I was also astonished to find that how carefully you'd scripted everything. Like I said before, the inner nature of their characters had to be the top priority. Mm. Um, even when you work with actors, mm. uh, it's sometimes quite hard to make them compose a character, to, to, yeah. to, to, build, to build everything from nothing. And um, it's, uh, it's, it's a long journey, and it's hard work. Mm. When you work with non-actors, they definitely don't know how to play, because mm. they're not actors. So ju they just know one thing, just they, they know how to be, mm. they know how to live the things. Mm. So Saverio and Giovanna and all the rest of the clan are really close to the characters. Yes. They, have, they, they already have the characters within them. Mm. But of course we needed to work a lot. As soon as we, we, as we, we, we selected them and we, 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 we said, okay, the, the, this is the cast, we did uh, a lot of um, workshops. Ah. Uh, we worked with a, a magnificent coach, uh, which is called Simon Lamani, and we did a, like a, a, a tri uh, triangular workshops. There was Simon, there was them, and, and, and I. And um, all the script has been, uh, we, we went on, each scene has been rehearsed all the time, and multiple times. It was really important for them to know perfectly what was the, the, the each scene as his own arch, emotional arch, yeah. desire arch, what's, what's this scene is for, uh, why are you here, what do you want, what's your desire, mm -hmm. and it was really important for them, and for, and, and for me of course, to, to, to be crystal clear uh, with them, and uh, they had to be sharp on this as soon as they get on the set. Because they don't have any te techniques, they, they don't know how to how to behave in front of a camera. So we did also um, uh, kind of a uh, workshop um, in front of the camera as well to, 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 to make them understand what's what's the lens, what's uh, what's the behavior to have, and um, and yeah, we we, we spent like um, three or four months working like that, and it was really moving to see them evolving through this process because at the very beginning, let's. Let's think about these guys who doesn't have any connection with cinema, any connection with uh, being an actor. And workshops after workshops, I could see them um, taking confidence in their yeah. skills, skills that they already had, but they didn't know it yet uh, at some point. So it was, uh, and, and the more confident they were, the better they were, of course, like everyone in this room. So yeah, it, it took us a while to, to, to be, uh, as precise as we could before going on set, because the set, you, we, we can discuss uh, like uh, 10 days in a row, but what a set is, as long as you've never been on a set, mm. you just have to go on the set and mm. be, be, be smashed in the face mm. uh, with, with, a, with, a, with a gaffer, with a grip, with a, with a makeup, everything is really confusing on a set when you're not used to it. So so they had to be... By the time you'd worked with workshop with these actors for four, three, four months, I, I'm quite sure because I know how this process works. That she, that connection between her and her father, which was so beautifully detailed, um, was was made for real. I'm quite sure between uh, the two actors, um, it it shows. And and in every small detail that you shot, the way in which his hands at the beginning, when he first greets her, are a prison. You know that he, that he he holds her face and he traps her, and then gradually his hands, these huge hands, become a protection. Every small detail of that relationship and the way it evolved um, was so immaculately traced through, and yet one never felt the sense of contrivance at all. So everything was written. Yes. Yeah. And that's what one of the things that amazed me. I I know writing. 
I mean, obviously, in his long speech, you know, there are moments, where, there, there are key moments which are clearly written, but it, I never, uh, it's such a testament to you and to your work, Audrey, um, um, and we'll come to you in a second on time, uh, but, but that I never felt art or artfulness. I mean, from the, that very first long uh, handheld shot, we, you, you track from the dead boars that become kind of symbolic in a sense, uh, obviously, of him and the hunt, um, to, to the moment her hair comes down, which is so startling. It's so simple and yet so startling that you go, oh my God, it's a girl. I, I, I felt that you knew exactly where you wanted to go at all times, and you, you never... Yeah, I never lost that confidence. It's an astonishing achievement, really. Um, yeah. Um, so, Anton, apart from the fact this guy was obviously a nightmare to work with, what were the biggest challenges? What were the biggest challenges um, to to bring this to the screen for you? Well, we, we, in France, uh, our production company uh, is used to work with a um, well-known actor in France, and um, this movie was out of the box. And uh, we we had we need a long time to finance the movie since there were no clue for the financer uh, to put money on the mo on the movie. Uh, Julien, uh, it was a debut for him. Mm. Uh, he directed some series, but it was far from the movie. Uh, different uh, different side. No, but I mean uh, really really far. Really far. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, with Julien, we were friends at the beginning, so mm. I guess it's, it helps to... So it helps at some point. It helps, yeah. <laughs> and uh, no, the, the, the result is really... Uh, uh, you have a lot of gratitude when you see the, the, the work uh, of Julien. He's really focused. Yeah. Uh, he moves right away, and you have to follow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and, and, and just tell us, uh, I'm obviously Netflix have bought it. it, are there any plans for theatrical exhibition? Yeah, it, it was a pre-sale. Uh, like uh, Canal Plus Group, Netflix bought the movie for uh, a French pre-sale, only in France. Mm. Not in America? No, Metrograph uh, okay. bought the movie for America. They will release the, the movie in uh, maybe March or April. Got it. Um, Audrey, I told you um, when we met earlier that, that having seen the film for the first time, that I didn't remember the music, which is a great compliment. Um, this time, of course, I was, I was much more attentive to it. And I was so impressed with what you did, because, you know, if the scene, if each scene was like a bead, your music cues was like the string that turned it into a necklace. You, you, you had a really beautiful understanding of when to stay silent, of, you know, when, when, when just, you know, obviously this is, is your work to Julien, but, but um, I'm fascinated you, that, you know, you didn't make any hats off to Corsican folk music or anything else. You, you chose a score using that treated piano and, and um, it, it, it gave this beautiful overarching sense of unease and and melancholy primarily to 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 the story and it underscored moments beautiful misdirects you, you misdirect her so many times wonderfully well like the, the moment when he's stepping out of the car and two guys walk behind it and you think oh no <laughs> you know uh, it's so cleverly done but talk to me um uh, um, Audrey, about about your choices for the music, how you made them. Uh, thank you for, yeah. for, for everything you said. Yeah, um, uh, Julian was uh, listening a, a playlist when he was writing the script that I had the chance to read very early. Um, and he was listening a, a playlist with a, a cello and piano. And so when the time came to choose the DNA of the soundtrack of uh, The Kingdom, we thought that uh, cello could be the death part because of its uh, sense of solemnity and also the depth of the sound of a, of a cello. And we thought also that the piano could be the light part, 
uh, in, in its uh, high register yeah. so that we could combine these two instruments to be the circle of life and death coming. And also um, we choose to uh, have very few themes that was coming again and again during the, the film, uh, throughout the film to express the obsession of the character evolving and uh, and also we I, at some point the the film choose and ask us to be very discreet mm. that the melody would say would have to stay very simple Abs almost um, abstract. yeah because yeah. Um, the music had to stay in the background mm. to uh, like not impose emotion um, and just like to be this this intimate approach could like give give the viewer emotion but not imposing them. So I think that at some point Julian decided to sing, I tried to sing, and at some point the movies was asking us also to follow this um, this very discreet and, and, and subtle uh, way of uh, giving emotion to the viewer, I hope. So thank you. It did. It succeeded. Thank you. Um, it, it's a profoundly moving film. I, I, I sort of want to talk to this guy and all of you for ages and, and kind of kind of gush. I'm, I'm your newest fanboy, um, really. Um, but I, I am the fanboy. Oh, uh, um, that's a, that, you, I'm sure you guys have got some questions, so why not? Why not? Let's let's have a couple of those. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, I would like to helping him with the movie. Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, in Corsica, we know what to use now. <laughs> yes. Thank you for your question. Um, no, actually, uh, it's funny because it was one of the, the, the script part that was totally underrated in terms of music. Uh, the, 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 everything was scripted just like the, the, the way you saw it. We, ju we just got a few, few things on editing, but we knew that it, it was going to be a party at this time, and she had to learn and understand that Stig was dead through a, a silent TV while everybody was partying around with kids in front of the TV. Everything was already scripted, but I don't know why, but. I hadn't thought about the music at, at, at that point. You know, everything was to me um, emotional enough on the script uh, without thinking uh, about the music. And then on the editing room, we said, okay, what the fuck is the music? <laughs> Which music? And uh, we tried maybe like, uh, yeah, 100 <laughs> tracks, you know, and we went, uh, well, it, 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 yeah, <laughs> I was saying it. Okay, it's a French, French, uh, French uh, song, but, but uh, for for the French one because it's quite it's quite fine. Uh, we thought about Patricia Cass at some point. <laughs> See, it's working. <laughs> so, so yeah, um, we 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 th we search a lot about about that one, and at, a, at some point, uh, Toto uh, came up just like that, and we tried it with uh, with my uh, with my editor. And um, yeah, it was a perfect match. But the thing is, the door uh, is not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> and we are not, uh, you know, we're not a super uh, big budget movie, you know? We're struggling to do... What, uh, was, the, what was the budget? <laughs> what was the budget, Antoine, by the way? <laughs> 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 Don't lie. Four million. Okay. And the budget of the music. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but when we were talking music about Toto, like it was not four million, it was 3.6. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And it was just like, no, 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 no more spend, no more spend, no, 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 no. Get, get rid of the music, no, no. And, um, and we said, oh, fuck it, I mean, the, the, the track is great, uh, the scene is great like that, let's try, because we, we had a, a, a working uh, screening, you know, with the producer, the distributors, we said, let's keep, the, let's keep Toto, because it's working very well, and let's figure, figure it out and just see how they react uh, on, 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 this, on this track. And yeah, they loved it. So we said, okay, I, I, I will, I will, I will buy you Toto, but you need to do something for me in the end of the film. So, ah, come on, you're still bargaining. <laughs> As I'm still the, the beggar, you know. Yeah. But yeah, Toto came came uh, very late on the process. 
Very good. Um, more questions? Yes. <laughs> Please wrap. That's, that's not a question, sorry, that's a statement. Um, all right, guys. <laughs> um, uh, I can't get this, what, you know. What, what we show the the quality of help these days is just yeah, it's terrible. All right, um, I guess we have to wrap. Um, but, one last, one last, one last. Go on, one last question. I better be really good. Precious. Yeah, 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 yeah. No you, you give all, all yeah. you got. You, all right, go. There's a lot, and uh, I think the, 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 the man with the rap now uh, is, is going to be really angry if I, if I start uh, uh, listing everything. But um, yeah, um, the, the discussion, you know, when they're fishing, you know, on the boat, and Lesia is, uh, is, uh, is telling the story uh, to her father about uh, some tourists that, that went, she, she saw some tourists fishing with a, with a bow technique, you know, they said, ah, come on, that can't, that, that can't exist. Well, the scene existed, mm. um, probably at, at, at the coma, you know, it was the same one that I had with my father, and um, it was kind of humiliating, you see, you know, you, you, you saw that, that fishing technique, you know, you say, ah, come on, you've been fooled by tourists, which is one of the most awful thing you can say to, <laughs> to, a, to a Corsican child, you know, you have been traumatized for years, <laughs> and um, but I, I didn't wait like Lesia is doing on the film. Uh, I, I took a, I took a ball somewhere in the garage. I took an old, an old white sheet and a, a kind of rub, and I went in front of my house in Corsica because I had the chance to live uh, by the shore. And I tried uh, with uh, some. Um, what? Flower. 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 Thank you for nothing. And, uh, <laughs> Matt, what's Matt? I don't know. Um, so I tried. I tried the technique I saw the, mo the, 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 the same morning, and it worked. Yeah. So I was on my own on the beach yelling that yeah! with this ball uh, full of uh, fish, you know. And I did the process like four times, and uh, I, I get a, a full bucket of fishes, and I went back home, and I say, here are the tourists <laughs> to my father. And, and I... I, I never heard about this story again, and we, we never talk about that. <laughs> um, I, we should get out, but I'm sure, um, and knowing how generous these guys are, if any of you have other questions, that you'll be able to talk about them outside. So sure. thank you all so much. Thank, thank you, Russell. Thank you, guys. Thank you, John.